guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Thursday, happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your morning is starting out right, and if not, I hope that it will get better as the day goes on, and it does. And if it doesn't, you know what? There's always tomorrow. <laughs> you might not have a good day today, and that's quite all right, but you know what? Get some sleep, wake up tomorrow, it's a whole new day. But hopefully today's the whole new day for you. So it is Thursday almost to the end of the week, which is a good thing. I woke up today, I had plans to get out the door early this morning, and then uh, due to change of an appointment, um, that didn't happen, and so I was like, oh, okay, so that kind of like throws you off, because I was like, oh, I'll just go to the appointment, and then I'll come home, and then I'll work for the rest of the day. Well, then now I'm like, oh, I have the morning and the day, and then I'll have to go tonight, but I'm like, that's good. So I was upstairs working for a little bit, working on my other channel. I have a Bible channel where we read God's Word, just read God's Word every day, Monday through Friday, very easy, just a little bit of getting His Word inside of you. It's just encouragement for your day. Like, who doesn't need encouragement? There is enough garbage on here. There is. <laughs> Lots of garbage, lots of things to just get in your head, make you think all sorts of things that you're not good enough, that you need to be angry, that you need to hate on people, that you need to, you know, long for things you don't have, you need to, you know, get in touch with your inner feelings so that you can have such frustrations in your life instead of just enjoying life, enjoying life no matter what. You really can. You can enjoy your life no matter what situation you're in. You can, but you have to change how you look at things. And sometimes watching things online, sometimes watching certain people, they will just bring you down because they just have that frustration in their life. They have that anger in their life. And you know what? It depicts and it just flows off of them on to you. I was talking with a lady the other day and she was telling me about something she watched and she's like, I just had yucky thoughts afterwards and yucky dreams. And I said, there's spiritual things attached to videos. There's spiritual things. And if you can look at that person and what you're watching, I said, kind of look back at a few things. There's some demonic stuff. There's some witchcraft. There's some things that are just not sitting right. I said, it might just be quote unquote all in fun or all in whatever, just nonchalantly mentioned. I said, that's like attached to that. And I said, that's not going to be good for you. I said, you got to watch what you're watching, what you're pouring into yourself to get your days doing good. The Bible says if you open the door to the enemy, he's allowed in your life. He really is. <laughs> because we open that door and we think, oh, no, no, shut, shut, shut. But if you're continually watching that stuff, you're continually focusing on that stuff, it is never good. So choose to shut it off and stay away from it. Sometimes that means shutting off social media, not watching certain channels, not watching different shorts because it's there, unfortunately. So choose to have some peace in your day and some joy in your day. It really does help. It might be a little detox getting off it. It's very easy to want to grab your phone and just start scrolling through or what do I do now? Look on social media. Let me look real quick and see what's on Instagram. Let me look real quick and see what's on Facebook. Let me, you know what? Off it. We survived 20 years ago without it. Maybe we had a little bit more peace. Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. But just getting that fo mind mindset focus onto positive things because you can enjoy the day-to-day. -day. The day-to-day -day of doing dishes and cleaning up and making breakfast, lunch, and dinner and going to your job or cleaning up your house, washing your windows, spending time with your kids, spending, spending time with your spouse. Those are the most important things because they are the day-to-day. -day. They are what get us through. And then just watch all the blessings and all the joy that can happen around you. Not spectacular, not amazing, not all these great things that the world would tell you, but just contentness and peaceful and joy. That's when you can have a beautiful life, when you don't need all the extra wow, when you can just enjoy whatever it is you have, being content in there. It's a beautiful thing. Peacefulness and content. So I hope that you're peaceful and content today. <laughs> That wasn't even my encouragement, but I do have extra. So this is like a double dose for you, encouragement for you today. And this comes from the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, in believing for those things, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. And that goes with what we're talking about. So like God will give you that peace and that hope but you have to, the stuff that you believe in, the things that you you know, desire for your home, the things you desire for your family, the relationships you wanna have, God will bring you peace in those things if you focus on Him. And it's so important to stay hopeful, especially in challenging times. It is so easy, even as believers, yes, thank goodness we have the Lord to have our hope, so we don't have to fear things in our life that we shouldn't because what the ultimate is like, whatever, like God's got me, God's got me, thank goodness He does, so we, can let go of all those fears 
and just focus on the things that he has for us and not worry about things that the world worries about because all of his promises give us hope for a better tomorrow, a better future. Maybe your day is not looking good. Maybe your situation is not good. Maybe your family life is looking yucky. Maybe your financial situation is looking yucky. Maybe your medical issue is looking yucky. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I know everybody's going through something. Everybody, me included, you, everybody. God says, you're, you're no different than anybody else. Everybody's going through things. <laughs> but we can have hope that we can have a future, an expectant future, and expectant things that God has good things for us. And he does. He does. All right, you ready for some food? Let's start making some food. All right, ready? Let's go. This week when I had all those leftover vegetables, leftover broccoli, I thought about making cheesy broccoli soup. So it works out perfect because I have leftover not canned cheddar cheese in my refrigerator. I've got broccoli. I've got some fresh broccoli got some onions, all that stuff. I'm gonna chop it up. We're gonna make a soup. I think that'll be really good. Tonight's gonna be uh, soup and salad night and pizza egg roll night. Cause not everybody loves broccoli soup and I get that. So tonight we'll do a nice chef salad. I've got lunch meat. We can do some parboiled eggs. I wanna make homemade croutons. Have that and I thought we'll have a good salad and then I wanted to, I haven't deep fried anything in a long time at all. So I'm like, let me do like a nice little treat. So I'm gonna do some homemade pizza rolls. One of my viewers suggested making those with egg roll wrappers. I thought that would be a nice treat to have. So I'll pull out the deep fryer. I've got new oil. I can put it in there. We can make some little pizza rolls. I can do different ones um, for different, you know, different kinds just to try them out. And then we can have that as a side with our lettuce. So we're gonna, not our lettuce, our salad. <laughs> with our salad. Hold on. Okay, I'm being called in all directions. I didn't shut the refrigerator. I didn't do this. Okay, the butter's melting. I'm gonna just chop up a few things. I have got, this is from our tacos last night. It's got a little bit of lettuce mixed in there. I don't care. It'll all get mixed up. This I'm going to have saute. I know it's got some red pepper, which I normally would never put in broccoli soup. It's only got a little bit in the lettuce. It'll be fine. So I'm going to chop up a carrot and then let this saute over here and then we will uh, make a delicious soup. Let's cut this up right here. This is looking really good. I was thinking I don't usually, well, I do put it in here, celery. In my cookbook, I don't have celery that I put in here, but I'm gonna chop up some celery here. Make it nice and full of veggies. It's very good. This is one of those soups that I put in the refrigerator and it like disappears real quick. Oops. <laughs> I'm chopping it and it's going all over the stove. The green celery will kind of hide the little wilted pieces of lettuce that are in there because you don't even see them. The broccoli will too. So let this just saute and then we'll uh, add flour to it to thicken it and then add a little bit of chicken broth and then we'll be adding our broccoli in. So this is pretty much sauteed pretty good. I'm going to add some flour to it and it's basically to just absorb that butter so you can make it thicker. Let's just let all that butter be absorbed by flour. And then you're going to add your chicken broth. So I'm going to do water. And chicken bouillon. And then to this, I'm just going to put all my broccoli in here. I'm adding excess of broccoli. If you go to Panera, they don't add very much broccoli. We like a lot, so this will be good. I'll like overfill this. It'll cook its way down. I'll kind of smash a little bit, so it's kind of in tinier pieces. I'm going to have to add a little bit more liquid. We'll see what that does. Just let that come to a boil. That's going to take a little bit of time to boil. Once that boils, that'll be good. It'll kind of cook it down. I am going to cook over here in a frying pan an egg. I'm going to make some um, avocado toast, I think, with the egg for breakfast. Eat that up. And in between, um, why that's just cooking, doing this thing. I'm going to take these. Remember we got these bagels at the discount store? Kids, I don't know if they didn't eat small individual bagels. They like the bigger ones, which is fine with me. So I have these, but you know what? These make really great croutons for a salad. So I'm going to kind of frozen. I'm going to let them sit out here. Kind of cut the ones that are not so frozen. And then uh, just chop them in tiny little pieces, put them in a bowl, and then we'll season them, and then we'll bake them. They're really good for homemade croutons. Nice and thick. Oh, 
Just kidding. No, you're good. So I wanted to do avocado toast, but like part of it was feeling smushy, not all of it. So I'm like, do I cut it and risk it? Jane's like, just wait. And I'm like, Ugh. so she goes, unless you're really forceful. So <laughs> part of it's smushy. So I took this one and I smashed it down as best I could. I'm going to use it. It'll be good. I'll put my eggs in here. I'm going to put some sprouts on here, I think. And tomatoes. Delicious. Was the hardest avocado to do but and i'll let this sit now the other ones i just um we got them at sam's and i was pulling them out daily when i was eating them and this one i forgot so i'll do this and put my egg on it on the phone delicious okay delicious breakfast that is so good so broccoli is good i'm just gonna smash this down a little bit with the potato masher to kind of cut up the broccoli a little bit can also put in an immersion blender to kind of puree it a little bit too much so i like just like chunky soup after having homemade and then going to panera and having theirs i'm like oh it's like watery <laughs> so i like the thicker heartier soups so in this one, I'm going to add nacho cheese right here. Think, let me see how much I'm going to add. I'm going to do about half of that. Not nacho cheese, it's cheddar cheese. So to give it that cheesy flavor and some milk. I can do regular milk because this is not a favorite of Jensen's. And I know he will not eat it. So we'll just stir this up here. And also add paprika. The soup is done. It's beautiful, delicious. I added a little bit more milk, so it isn't, let's see how it's nice and hearty, but we still have good liquid in there. So this will be great. I will eventually um, put those in bowls as the schools. I was supposed to start on chopping up these bagels. I did not get that far yet. <laughs> I was eating, talking to the girls before they headed out for their day. So I am going to get a knife, which is probably in the dishwasher. I'm going to slice up these bagels into tiny little pieces. For your croutons, you just, like I just cut those all up. I feel like the thicker bread is definitely better. Um, I'm going to put olive oil in here. I've got, and this one is infused with garlic. For Miss Barbara, I've got some butter. I don't want to melt it because I don't want to. So I'm hoping to, it's soft enough to like kind of just mix it around. Spices, I'm going to use paprika. I'm going to use Italian seasoning. I'm going to use some chives and garlic powder, salt and pepper. Mix it all up. That'll be really good. And I'll spread it on a cookie sheet and stick in the oven. These are so good. Yeah, winner with everybody. I ended up using melted butter. I was gonna just mix in there. I'm like, no, let me do melted butter. Let me wipe up my mess here and we'll start on something else. So something else I wanted to make that I haven't even made ever is sorbet. Now I love the little sorbet cups, the, the not pineapple, watermelon ones, I think it's Luigi's. I remember getting them at the discount store. Greg had got me some for um, Mother's Day. And I'm like, these are so good, but they're expensive. And I'm like, surely you can make this yourself. And you can, there's lots of recipes online, how to do this. We have an ice cream maker. I have a small one. We had, it used to have a big one years and years ago. Awesome. But it just stopped working after a while because it was, you know, that refrigerant, it wasn't meant to be picked up and moved a lot, but it was such a big thing to store somewhere. We just, you know, had to move it all the time. So like the ice machines. So I have a small one here that I think I made custard in it when we moved in here. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I, there's a ton of recipes, ton of recipes that they talk about. The perfect um, sorbet is about the ratio of either too much water or too much sugar. It either makes it gushy or mushy or more icy. So I'm gonna follow one here. 
and just see how it goes. So I am going to, um, like I said, our thing is kind of smaller. So it's only four cups of water and cubed with seeds removed. And then it's three quarter cup of water and half a cup of sugar. You bring that to a boil on your stove. So I'm gonna make the sugar syrup right now. So in my pot, I'm gonna add that. I got that backwards. It's a half a cup of sugar and three quarter cup of water. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, let's go try it. I'll do a batch and we'll see how it goes. So it says to bring it to a boil at both for three minutes. Pretend smell delicious. Okay, and then let's see. While that's cooling, you're gonna cube up the water. So I'm gonna cut my water on this one we got from the roadside stand. The first one was so good. It was very, very juicy. I don't doubt this won't be the same way. So I'll cut it in half. I'll cut some up for us for today. And then I'll also do, I think it's just four cups. So four cups, we'll put it in the blender. It's not gonna be too much watermelon. It's basically like a little tiny piece of one. Just that one quarter. So I'm gonna put this in the food process or the blender and just blend it up. I poured that in here to see how much I have. I think I can do double that. Maybe stretch it. So I'm gonna get a little bit more and do the same thing. So let me add sugar to this. It's after it's already boiling. It's almost done, isn't it? Can we just add it to it? I think you can. Let's just add it in there. What is it, three quarters sugar? No, not three quarters sugar, three quarter water. Let's do that. Let's add a little bit more. Now I know that's gonna affect how full it is in here, but even if I have a little bit left over, that's okay. Croutons are done, crispy. These are so good. Homemade croutons, delicious. I used the Italian, like French, I guess it was a French bread loaf from Walmart. It was okay, it's just lighter and airier. These are better bagels, because they're thicker and just a dense, a denser, denser. So those are cooled off. I'm going to, I guess I'm waiting on the mixture, the sugar mixture to, to get cool. And then I was like, I wanna make more sorbet, but I guess I can only do a batch at a time, so it'll be a slow process for the day. So what I'm gonna do now is get stuff for my salad ready for tonight. I'm gonna to use my little egg, this thing, for the perfect peeled egg. So I'm gonna plug this in, let this do its thing, and then chop up some veggies and just make like a nice little, um, like individual bowls of the veggies. I feel like that's gonna be better so everybody can grab their own salad toppings. Before I start all the veggies, I'm gonna get my, I went out to the freezer and I put my sugar mixture in the freezer. So it got nice and cold. So I'm gonna add this to here and stir it up. I know it's gonna be too much for this, but we'll see. One thing I did say to do is taste it. If it's not sweet enough, I had Maddie double check for me. He said if it's too sweet, you can add lemon juice to kind of counteract that. So I'm gonna pour that in here. I even saw a recipe where you can just put it and freeze it in the freezer. I don't know if that's true or not. So I'm gonna pour it in here. We'll sit over here and see what happens. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. It says it has about an hour. So maybe I will see this other bit and make it. I will just wait and see. So for now, my eggs are done. Let me get them in a bowl of cold water and then I'll chop up some veggies. This works just to get ice out of my freezer and get um, water from my refrigerator, which is good, and I'll just plop it in here.
And so for my veggies, so I chopped up some. We don't have a lot of people eating here at dinner tonight because they are out and about. So I just did cucumbers and some peppers. That's gonna be it. I put the rest in bags in the refrigerator with um, a bag, like a paper towel so they go good. And then my carrots, I would like to put carrots on salad, but I don't like chopping them in big chunks and shredding is great. I just didn't want to get out my food processor because it's big, so <laughs> my mom used to have a little chopper like this where it was just tiny. Hers was a manual one. And I thought of it the other day because I was like, Oh, that'd be nice just to grab something out when you want to do something little. She would chop, 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 and it was great. That was good. I, I didn't like being the child and have to chop up the onion, but it's, we shouldn't have food processor either, so it just saves on chopping up really tiny. So got one of these to have as a small version of that just because it's um, USB, but I thought, how great. So I wanted to try it with a carrot. It chopped it all up, so just get something little, something for like a little one. Got a little suction on the bottom and then just hooks together. It plugs in so it's electric, or not electric, it's battery, which is awesome. So that made my carrots tiny little pieces because then I know we can just kind of grab them and stick them on our salad. Perfect, that's fun. Fun little thing. Okay, I'm gonna start making, chopping up salad, the lettuce, and then that's the last veggie. I think the lettuce, I'm just gonna pretty much tear it so it doesn't go bad. That lettuce, do you see that little, well, that little head? That was really tiny. Sam's Club had a limit on their, um, Iceberg lettuce, I don't know if they had a recall or something happened, but I'm just gonna kinda of tear real gently. Not a big deal, stick it in a bag with a paper towel. <laughs> That's one thing I miss is my salad spinner. I found one at Goodwill for, I don't know, it was under $10. And I didn't bring it, because I was like, oh, I only use it once in a while, not necessarily a need. But that's okay. You just put it with paper towel, put it in a bag, I'll put this in the fridge, this will be perfect. And then we will do, I'm gonna crack the eggs, do those. We'll do some shredded cheese, which I think I have in my check. Cheese, and then I will get out some lunch meat as well. I'll get that out of the garage fridge and just cut it up as we needed. Let's peel the eggs. Win, win on the egg cooker pretty much perfection once again. I had a couple that I just kind of smashed a little too hard, I think. Yeah, we're good. Get yourself an egg cooker. That will make your eggs be perfect. <laughs> okay, let me clean up the mess. Something else I need to do is take my bananas, they're all black here, put them in containers, stick them in the freezer. to my refrigerator and I'm like, we have honey lunch meat and chicken. So I think I'm gonna use this with salami. We can do cheese, I'll just chop that up tonight. Make it each salad as we're making it. And then I just got some butter out because I'm out of butter. So I think I'm done in the kitchen for right now. I'm like, the ice cream machine is almost done. I was even telling Maddie, I'm like, it's almost like a slushy. I don't think the slushy gets it that cold. It would still be a little bit um, runny, but this is, it's getting thick. So it tastes really good. We'll let it get hardened a little bit more. It's got about 10 minutes and that should be done. I might try another one. I was gonna do pineapple and coconut cream. Mix that together and put that in there. See how that is like a pina colada? I think that'd be delicious. I remember yesterday, I was cleaning my windows and I'm like, I've never washed these curtains. So I thought about that. I'm like, I should wash those today. <laughs> so I'm gonna take those down, throw them in on a quick, delicate cycle and then just hang them up wet instead of putting them in the dryer. I'm gonna put these in the washer. Oh, there's towels in there. Yeah, that's okay. I guess we'll throw them all in. I guess we'll just do a quick wash. Get those washed and then we'll hang them back up. Okay, this turned out really, really good. Look at that, I'm gonna give this one to Maddie. This is so good, so I wonder if I can put this in the freezer. And it says that if you just leave it in there and you take it out five minutes when you wanna serve it, you can scoop it. I'm hopeful, I'm gonna go see what kind of container I can put that in. This is delicious. Okay, so really good, so I'm debating. I kinda looked online, they put them in big things, and they scoop them up, and I'm thinking, 
I'll just put them in these, and these would be like single serve things. If you want one, you just take it out, let it thaw. I'm more concerned of like, what is it gonna do after it refreezes? I don't know. Never made this, but I feel, it says you can, so we'll just try it. So it's a little bit, like it's got a little bit of liquid in it. So again, I don't know what that's gonna do when it freezes. I'm not sure, so we're gonna just try this, but fresh is good, I guess. Worst case, if they, I thaw them and they just kinda get all liquidy, we'll just stick them in the food processor, grind them up. But I'm gonna try. I wanna do, well, I do have a little bit more watermelon. Maybe I'll just stick that little bit in there. Let me put that little bit more in there and then we can have that. And I will put these in the freezer for a little individual sorbets. take about an hour to make so I'm gonna look up real quick how to do the pineapple coconut one because um, I probably have to make a little sugar mixture and let it cool okay Maddie oh Maddie what'd you rate it 10 out of 10 um, doesn't have to be like eight. eight okay so not perfect but not bad huh okay oh there were seeds uh, it did say okay smooth okay that's good. I'm learning. Learning. That's a good thing. So the next time I do it, this is going to be a pineapple coconut one. So I have coconut cream. I put mine in the freezer. Coconut cream does not freeze well. It's going to be chunky. We'll see how that does. Basically, I'm going to put equal amounts of that and sugar in a um, pan here. The recipe I found, they put ginger. I probably will not put ginger in mine. And I'm just going to heat this up on the stove, and then I'll do the same thing. I'll cut up my pineapple over here and stick it in the, I think they put it in the processor. Let's see. Yeah, let me put over here. Let me heat this up. Yeah, they did a food processor. Let me get mine out. What I found is that that coconut milk member was kind of separated. When you mix it with sugar and boil it, it kind of comes back together. You don't see the separation. So that's a good thing. <laughs> so I've got pineapple here. I'm going to cut some up, put some in a bowl just to eat, and then put some in the food processor to grind up. I feel like that one's gonna be my favorite on there. So this is good. When this is done, I'll take this one out, put in containers, and then I'll try the pineapple one. Delicious. Okay, it helps to try something and keep working with it. This is the second batch of the sorbet. This one, look at, there is no liquid. This is much smoother. Is it much smoother, Maddie? Mm -hmm. She's something. She said a lot better. So key is just to let it go longer. So that's good. So this is yummy. How delicious. It's so cold, I can't even get out of the thing. So I gotta let it sit, and I'll put the pineapple one in. Yummy, I wonder if the other ones will freeze up. I'm not sure, but anyways, delicious. So I don't know if this makes a difference or not after it's frozen, but that tastes way better. So I took these back out of the freezer. I'm gonna stick these back in here and let it go a little bit longer. Because the texture isn't better. Delicious. Much better, not water. This is good sorbet. So I'm gonna put that in the freezer and see how that does. We'll just redo that one. I have to, I remember last year when I got it, the like it'll spin for a while and then after a while it stops spinning. It's almost like you have to put a little bit of pressure on the lid. It's like it doesn't sit down enough. So if I put that on top of it, it makes it work. So perfect. Okay, let's get these to another hour to do this and then we'll do the pineapple one. The winner on this, this is definitely very, very good. So Loving this, I'm gonna eat that a little bit. I'm gonna put my curtains here, hang those back up because they're all washed, all clean, and go hang those back up. It looks so weird because I keep seeing like open window over there. I keep, I keep thinking the door's wide open, <laughs> but it's not. It's like shut the door because the heat.
Okay, the only bad thing now that washing them, they're like kind of stretched out. <laughs> so I'm like, that's why I flipped them thinking maybe they would hang better. They don't, they're a little like flappy. So, <laughs> did they just stretch out or what? I don't know, let me try this other side. Did I just ruin those dry and kind of see if they I don't know tighten up a little bit they're real fluffy so I'm not sure she just left them dirty okay I'm gonna take a break spend some time with the kids do some stuff and uh, I'll be back uh, hey guys <laughs> hey guys it's Maddie <laughs> she's getting her lunch this turned out this was the um, coconut coconut pineapple sorbet very good so the key is just let it go long so this is delicious it reminds me of tastes like the flavor inside that remember when you got at sam's club you bought the pineapple spears and coconut juice that's what it tastes like to me let me share with you something we were finishing up some school and doing stuff and i came over to my curtains they shrunk back up thank goodness look at they shrunk right back up thank goodness i was afraid i was like did i just ruin my curtains by washing them <laughs> so they got nice and so they're not floppy Looking good. Yay, on the curtain. So done. Gonna go take a break and go take a swim in the pool for a little bit and it'll be our afternoon. So it's been a few hours. We came outside and swam. It was really hot. It was kind of cloudy for a little bit. And then I think, it, I thought the temperature said 97 today. So it was a little toasty out here. But we stayed up for about an hour, swam for a little bit, and um, and then went inside, just kind of chilled. We're watching old, uh, t t old TV shows on YouTube. So we've been watching that and just chilling. And then I'm like, it's already dinner time. I'm going to get dinner going because Greg is going to be home. We're doing salad tonight. Very simple, easy. I'm going to go inside. I'm not going to, we're watching the TV, so it's like loud in there. So I'm just going to put it together, show you what it looks like here. So everybody's going to make those differently, depending on what they like. That's the beauty of the salad. You can put the lettuce as your base and then if you want any kind of the meat, if you want any eggs in there, the vegetables, whatever you choose, and they have choice of dressing. We've got the croutons in there and then there's also the soup if you want some soup and we've got a lot of fruit and then the sorbet for dessert tonight. That'll be a nice little treat for the evening and then the rest of our evening is going to be here swimming for a little bit more. We'll come out after dinner and swim a little bit more and then we've got some uh, running to do again tonight so it'll be good and then call it a day for Thursday so I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some maybe some inspiration for getting some things done and some making some food whatever it was in your day or maybe you just got through your day because every day sometimes they're just blah days right they're not very like doing a whole lot but just very simple and easy just going through the day to day so you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you again tomorrow with another video all right see you tomorrow bye